Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel. Cedric here on this Friday with another brand new brew review. Today we are gonna dive back into the French beers. However, this is a beer by Brasserie du Pays Flamand, which is, uh, well, literally translated the brewery of the Flemish countries uh, or the Flemish countryside. Now, how can this be Flemish if it's French? Uh, well, we still have French Flanders. But I am not going to go into detail about that. Uh, I have talked about this when I talked about Trois Mont and Mont des uh, I believe. But we are going to do a brewery breakdown about Brasserie du Pays Flamand as well. Now, I did have the chance to get four or five beers uh, back from when I visited, uh, well, that region. I uh, haven't vis visited the brewery, unfortunately, yet. However, I did manage to bring back four or five beers and today uh, we are going to start with the Anostike IPA. Uh, why am I starting with this one? Well, we should drink IPAs as fresh as possible. So this is the first one in the batch that I brought with me to try. So this can't go stale. Nonetheless, what can I tell you about this beer? Well, not that much actually. I didn't find all that much info. This is a 6% ABV IPA with some fresh hops. Um, I can tell you about the name. The name Anostike uh, doesn't sound French at all. Now, French Flanders is right next to West Flanders, which uh, yeah, has a distinct dialect, just like we have our Antwerp dialect. We still have East Flanders, West Flanders. And Anostike is actually Flemish. And I do know that in French Flanders they speak some kind of uh, like Letzebourg, uh, some kind of mixed language between French and Flemish. Um, and Anostike actually means see you next time or until next time. A, tot, until. Noste, prochain in French or next in English. And keer, keer, fois in French and time in English. So a noste keer. Until next time, à la prochaine fois. So much for the namesake. Now, about this bottle, actually, I have tried some beers from uh, this brewery way back. Um, actually, didn't really know them back then. But at the Horeca Expo in Ghent, the, this brewery was present. I tried one or two beers, uh, the, the specialty beers. I um, actually kind of liked them back then as well. But they did have some different branding at the time. Uh, I do like these new bottles. I like the graphics on there. I like the lion with the stirring stick. Uh, put it up here somewhere if I find the image. Um, of course, the lion representing the Flemish country uh, because the Walloon icon is a cock. And I do mean a rooster, uh, un cock. Um, yeah, apart from that, I think we should just uh, try it out. So let's dive right in. Let's have a taste. Now, this is a high fermented beer and I would expect re-fermented in the bottle, which is uh, not very common in IPAs. But I do see a lot of yeast residue on the bottom here. I also bought this in a package, uh, a tasting package in Boite de Degustation uh, with those four beers and this lovely glass. You guys know that I love my glasses. In true French style, this is a, well, actually this is more of a red wine glass, but I do like that they have the logo here, the lion's head here. It's a 25 and a 33 combined, which is very common these days. And also on the bottle cap, they have that lion with the stirring stick and the branded IPA color. So I do like their attention to detail. Uh, and I do like those modern marketing thingies.
it is quite active i can't get the whole bottle in it is slightly hazy although it's not a new england ipa or a hazy ipa but it is quite hazy it doesn't have that pale color of a standard new england ipa even though uh, definitions are yeah let's say dubious uh, but it does have that very nice classic golden blonde color that very lovely beer color we all adore um, maybe a bit on the dark side but that is not uncommon for an IPA either. Nice thick head of foam, rather large bubbles. Uh, of course, I could have stored it colder. Maybe it's not as cold as it should be. Uh, nonetheless, nice head of foam, a nice off-white leaning towards beige foam which tells me that's, that this is quite natural, it's not bleached. Yeah, still lovely color in that beer. I do like the smell of it. I did say that this is a 6% ABV, yeah, indeed. Um, it does smell rather alcoholic and I don't mean like boozy or heavy but just the 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 pure ethanol kind of stands out just a, a pinch apart from that it does smell like a very classic uh, early uh, IPA uh, like back in the days when the India pale ales started uh, coming up so this is a very classic IPA and I kind of do like those so quite hoppy quite um, I, I like to say f um, yeah maybe fruity but it, it's like somewhere on the verge of fruity and floral I am getting uh, quite some bitterness uh, at as usual um, some grapefruits but also some stone fruit in here nothing very exotic a lot of grapefruit a bit of stone fruit and also some uh, like orange blossoms or blossoms in general that's a very spring or summery beer Let's top that off. There we go. Making it a lot more hazy. Look at that nice swirl in the glass, which actually works as a diffuser for the light going through. So that veil actually brings out the color even more. And now it's like a perloid gold beer. I do like that. Now, as we've learned, um, adding a bit of yeast to the beer from the bottle makes your beer a bit more bitter, but also a bit more smooth, a bit more creamy. And I do like that. Uh, maybe I could have waited until I tasted the initial taste, but nah. Cheers. Let's go. Yeah, this is indeed very, very classic IPA. It reminds me a bit of the Vedette IPA uh, by Duval Mortiat, but a bit more, a bit more grapefruit, a bit more bitter, a bit more um, dry, a bit cl more classic. Uh, yeah, very, very old school. Um, like I said, very dry. I do get a lot of uh, grapefruit peel again, a lot of bitterness, um, a well-rounded mouthfeel, quite high in carbon dioxide as well, which brings out the alcohol a bit more. So it is a 6% ABV, but it feels like a seven and a half at least. Um, and that, that 
carbon dioxide also pushes the aroma a bit so it makes it even more bitter it brings out the dryness even more and this might as well be a crossbreed between an IPA and a Saison because it's very dry but also very thirst quenching um, yeah I, I really do like this beer Now, most of the time, I'm not a big fan of um, high carbon dioxide uh, contents, except for uh, the classics like a Duvel or Omer or beers like that. Um, but in this beer, it actually really works. And I do think that this because of the bitterness. I do think that they used a lot of very classic bitter hops in it. I, I have no idea, but if I had to take a, an educated guess, I'd say some Chinook, some Centennial, um, very, very easy on the aroma hops, well, practically none. And also, if you look at that color, it's not a surprise that this is a French beer because they love their beers ombre, as they say. Uh, so not really an amber beer, but a bit amber in color. So they use a bit more caramel malts um, and a bit less pale malts. Um, I do believe that the French like a bit more color in their food and in their drinks. Uh. The French are fans of the, the Burgundy lifestyle and we will get back to that in a later video as well. Um, but where we throw everything in a skillet or in a pot, uh, they have like grills and stuff uh, so they like their food not only um, tasty and tasteful but also visually appealing and that is the case with this beer as well I believe again I do like this glass I like this shape of glass most of you guys already know that um, I do like the executive glasses but this does the trick for me as well uh, I do like that it's slightly bent inwards to keep some aroma inside. Uh, yeah, basically based on a nice wine glass. And as the beer warms up a bit and the foam dissipates, the aroma comes alive and or that secondary aroma comes alive and it's just, yeah, more floral. I do get a bit of blossom in there again. I get a bit of roses in there. I haven't smelled roses in beer for a long time, so I do like that. Um, maybe a kind of tiny bit vegetative, but nonetheless very, very tasty. And yeah, I'm not drinking it very cold, so I do know that the taste is boosted a bit in my case. Uh, but it's been a while since I've had a beer that was this strong in taste, this tasteful. So I'm very pleasantly surprised. Uh, yeah, if their other beers are as good as this one, I might have to visit the brewery. Now I am passing by again next year, so chances are that I will visit the brewery. Okay absolutely lovely um yeah let's go to do the verdict then um i've been all but negative about this beer so rounding up a lovely color a lovely veil of yeast in this glass uh lovely glass as well nice color in the foam a nice head of foam that stays on the smell which is very complex yeah, still is, which ranges from uh, a bit malty, which I hadn't mentioned yet, but from a bit malty to floral to fruity um, to a bit citrusy and actually not at all um, exotic. And yeah, I like this. So I would love to give this a 3.75. Um, I am still not the biggest IPA fan in the world. If I was, it might have yeah might have had a four um 
but nonetheless to my taste and to my liking this is a 375 um, yeah do with that what you will if you get your uh, your hands on one have a taste I do believe these weren't expensive at all uh, ooh, look at how murky that gets nice and as usual that all being said um, I hope you liked this video if you did hit the thumbs up let me know down in the comments uh, I love to interact with you guys if you want to see more um, subscribe hit the bell icon you'll be the first to know whenever I upload something which should be Monday Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. Um, and if you have any requests any questions any remarks again leave them down in the comments I'll get back to you as soon as possible um, some of you have given me nice video ideas uh, some of you I've even met uh, recently I gave away a bottle I've met three of you guys at least um, in the last uh, past few months um, yeah and if you want to support this channel um, just share one of my videos somewhere and yeah spread the word cheers you guys see you in the next one which will be after the weekend